Okay, y'all, today I thought I might like to talk about tires. Yeah, tires. The other day, well, it'll be a week or so ago when you see this, I put a community post up on my YouTube channel and I had a couple pictures of some new drive tires that I had put on my truck. And I asked a question at the same time. And my question was, can anyone tell me why I'm excited about this? Now, there's lots of reasons to get excited about new tires on your truck, right? Uh, the old tires that were on there are Bridgestones. They were on there since the truck was new, 264,000 miles, I think. I think that's, that's pretty good for a set of drive tires on a single axle day cab. Uh, my steer tires I had changed a couple months ago when I first got in this truck. I had a big cut in there from some road debris that someone ran over. So they changed those out for me a couple months ago. So right now, basically I got six new tires. The thing about the old ones, the Bridgestones, is they were a different tread pattern and they were worn down pretty slick. They were right there at the, the tread limit that they want to change them at. I think it's like 430 seconds, I think. If I'm not mistaken, that's where they want to train, change them at. And they were wearing really evenly. They did. They wore really good for having that many miles on them on this truck. Now the thing about those older tires is they were so slick. They were hard as a rock, right? And they ran rough on these roads out here. You could feel every bump and you think you might not notice the difference, but trust me, after getting the new ones, you do. Now if you notice, the tread is so much higher on these and they're knobbies. Now these are retreads, recaps, whatever you wanna call them. They buy recaps for everything except the steers. I wish they'd buy all new tires, <clears throat> but they're not gonna. So <laughs> I'm just happy to get what I can get, right? Now, the company has, over the years, figured out that these knobby tires are the best tires for these single axle day cabs. The different tread patterns don't do as well in, with traction and in the rain. Even the original tires that were on here, they don't look like your normal drive tire that might be on a, a tandem axle, tandem drive axle tractor, sleeper truck, whatever. It's a little bit different. It's more knobby than that, but not as knobby as these. And they can get a little squirrely, right? So they've experimented and tried different ones and these knobby tires seem to do the best they do the best on traction for just regular roads in the rain and in the snow so and if you notice there was no uh there's no shoulder on the edge right all the water can wick away real easy so i think they do better in the rain also with these knobby tires, you don't think you'd notice it. I mean, they are softer and they give a little bit. The knobbies do, right? They're softer. So that gives a better ride going down the road. But also you can notice when you first get them on the truck that the truck, actually you can feel it wiggle kind of a little bit on top of these knobbies. And you get used to it real quick, a couple hours, you don't even notice it. You, you figure out how to drive with it. But it is like that. <laughs> so the, other thing about the, the tires, brand new tires getting on the truck that I really like the most is this. With those slick tires, the tread depth is smaller. The circumference of the tire is actually a little bit smaller, okay? So what that means is when you're going down the road with those old slick tires and your speedometer says you're doing 68, you're not. I checked it with my GPS and I was doing 65 or 66, depending on how big a hill I'm going down, right? And that just because the, the RPM of the tire, a starting point at the bottom as it gets around, it doesn't go as far as with the bigger circumference tire. It, it goes a little bit farther down the road with the bigger circumference tire. So I checked it with my GPS on these new tires, 68. And why that's a big deal is I can't get around some of these other company trucks that I should be able to get around a little better with those slick tires. But now that I have these newer tires on, it's a little easier to get around them, right? But the biggest thing 
the biggest thing I like about the new tires and being able to go a little bit faster is, and you wouldn't think that it would make this much difference, but my run is 600 and almost 20 miles if I have hazmat both ways. It knocks off 20, maybe to 30 minutes of my day that I get to do this run a little faster. And it's still, it may not seem like a lot, but when you do it every day, 20 or 30 minutes a day adds up and it feels better. You feel better coming in and you feel better about getting back a little earlier. The other thing about the, the tires being bigger in circumference, I could tell the difference on the odometer when I got out to Stanton. Straight from Dallas to Stanton, no hazmat miles, it pays 302 miles. On the old slick tires, it showed 309 miles almost getting out there. Now on these new tires, 301 maybe. So that just tells you right there that it's not showing going as many miles because it's getting farther down the road every RPM of the tire. Thanks for the, watching this little geometry lesson. I guess that's geometry on new tires and why I'm glad to get them. I just thought I'd bring that up today. So stick around, watch some more videos on this channel. I really appreciate it when you do like and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have, I appreciate that too. And we'll see you later.